Hello, everyone, and welcome to the XNA Extreme 101 class, brought to you by 3DBuzz.com. My name's Buzz. And I'm Logan. And we are two of what will end up being most likely four instructors you will see throughout this course. You will also have Zach on here from time to time, who will serve as our artist developing the graphical content and sometimes game rules, etc. And we'll also have Terry on here from time to time, who will be our beta tester and uh, basically joining us to provide thought from a beta uh, testing point of view. Now, Logan is going to be our primary programming instructor, and I'm going to be serving the role as helpless poor student. I will do my best to uphold that title, and my job will be to, you know, if Logan is explaining something and it's not really coming out the way I'd like for it to come out, or if it better yet, it's coming out in a way that I think students might be confused with, I'll simply ask him some questions. Now, a lot of you have taken classes with me in the past, and you know that I often fail when trying to play the role of student. And if that happens, it happens. If I switch over to instructor mode, I promise you I will do my absolute best to make sure that my descriptions are as detailed as possible. And Logan does a fantastic job of jumping on the bandwagon when I'm talking and adding extra information as well. So one way or the other, you're going to get hit, hit with information from the left, from the right, from above, all over the place. So class is going to start out real simple. This is a 101 class. Please bear that in mind. Those of you that have five years and more of programming experience. I've already seen you out there. I know you're taking this course. I don't know why you're taking this course. I could understand perhaps a 202 course or a 303 course, which we already have in the works. 101 class? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just say okay. You know, good enough. So um, anyways, please keep in mind we do have to start really simple. Now this class will be unique in regards to how we start it. Generally, in the past, when I teach a programming class, I always start out with the most simplistic of stuff, things such as, you know, we've got our source code. How does the source code get compiled into a, into a native code that can then be executed by an operating system? This time around, we're going to do things a little differently. We are going to jump right in with our quote-unquote Hello World app, and we're going to get our hands dirty, and we're going to get them real dirty. And you guys will see more about that coming up in about two or three videos from now. But... I'm not going to start out the standard way, and this is with good reasoning. I think by the end of this nine weeks, I can actually get you guys to a higher standard of programming than what you would normally get from any other class in an eight- to nine-week period taught the traditional way. So what I'm asking you guys to do is have faith in both Logan and I. We know what we're doing. We're going to take you there. We're going to push you hard. We don't want you to give up. We want you to stay strong and focused, and it'll really pay off. Finally, this video that you're watching right now, as you've probably guessed, is nothing but a temporary placeholder. It is a quick, laid-back, relaxed welcome to the class. We're going to be putting up a slicker-looking video that you guys will be able to grab as we get near the end. See, here's the deal. You know that there's five games that you're going to be learning, and you're going to be learning a bunch of C-sharp. You're going to be learning to work with the XNA framework for generating games for both the PC and the Xbox 360. Now... In getting from point A to point Z, as we have planned, we have shown you the games that you will be creating in the product description. Now, as a lot of you guys know, we like to continuously tinker with our products and make them better and better while in production. That's why nothing ever ends up being as short as we originally described. An example would be my fundamentals. We told ourselves that class would be 20 hours, then we told ourselves at most it would be 40, and it rang in at 82 and a half hours. And then we end up with, you know, 110 hour max fundamentals, 116 hours for advanced modeling. I'll be honest, I have no idea how many hours this course will be. The cool thing about this course is I have locked Logan and I into a designated nine weeks to provide you guys with everything I would like to provide you. And it's already happening. I'm already wanting to throw more stuff in there. We've already changed the way the first week is going to play out, where we had basically this week, I can go ahead and give you guys a quick uh, heads up. We're going to take a look a little bit at .NET, some framework stuff. Of course, getting used to writing some simple applications and compiling them. We're going to be taking a look at the whole object orientation programming uh, side of things. We're going to uh, create uh, some small programs and some bigger programs. That Well, one that's going to be a game near the end of this week, which is going to allow us to um, 
take a uh, little spaceship, and then we've got like an asteroid coming down, and we're destroying it. But the cool thing about this game is we're going to actually write it three different times. We're going to create it in a very cheap wind forms method, and then we're going to move over and recreate the entire game in wind forms, but using uh, completely custom classes for just about everything. But when we do that, we're going to show you guys how to do it in such a way that we're mimicking the XNA framework, which is pretty neat because after that, we're then going to get the XNA framework and we're going to create the game a third time and we're going to be uh, coding it in such a way that you're going to go, hey, that looks almost just like what I did just a few minutes ago with this other version. Right, we're structuring it so that the, um, the object-oriented version, the one that has a real game back-end framework to it, is targeted at moving over to XNA, where right. you have a lot of the same concepts applied and finalized. Once you finally move over into XNA, you'll be used to a lot of things in the way that it works. Precisely. And then, of course, we've got precision that we want to get to. So there's, there's a lot of stuff that we've got to get through this week, and that's just kind of an idea of what's coming. And like I said, we're going to start out with our Hello World app, and even our Hello World app, you know, we said each week our goal was to give you guys two plus, two plus hours of content, so at least two hours and uh, our little Hello World app is going to end up taking several hours just to get that one thing out of the way. So what does this mean? Well, it means nothing but all good news to you guys. But it also means that since we're continuously tweaking on everything, adding more and enhancing the games and all, I did not want to take the original games that we're going to be creating and just say, all right, introduction, we're making these things, let's go. You guys know how we are. We like to continue to make our things better. So by the time we get to the end of the course and we have everything that you truly create, everything enhanced the way we want it enhanced, we'll then go back, throw a really slick intro together um, with, you know, these are the games, etc., etc., and you guys will get a copy of that, and then you'll have your complete set. But this is a class, so we are presenting this to you guys in a laid-back fashion. That's how I like to teach. It, it really does make the learning experience a lot better. So we're starting right now laid-back manner so that's pretty much it uh, in the next video we're going to show you guys where you need to go we're going to get uh, uh, visual C sharp uh, 2005 Express get it installed and up and running we're not going to hold your hands through the whole install process and everything we're just going to take a minute show you where it's at tell you to grab it and then it's time to get busy because I want to start making games and I hope you guys do as well so that's the plan this is the introduction you know who we are let's get busy guys we'll see you